opportunity to interact with you. Water Digest is really fortunate that we are associated with Wabak since long. Yes. And uh, I'm really looking forward to some interesting reply from your side <laughs> as uh, you know. I will try my best. <laughs> what are the core competencies and the innovations that set VA Tech Wabak apart in the field of municipal or industrial wastewater management? See, Wabak stands for innovative technologies what we bring. We are one very few companies in India who still invest a lot of money in R&D. So today we have some very good R&D centers in Europe and in India and today we have more than 125 uh, IPR rights which we use it only for captive purpose. Now you asked what is that difference which Wabag is doing, what is it which makes Wabag stand out. See one, we want to remain only in water. Many companies have moved into other infrastructure. We are very clear, you can see in our office, everything will only depict water. We always work on projects which can bring change in the society. So all our projects you will see will have a huge social impact. Now, we take a case like Chennai or India or Africa countries where these are all water scarce. We have developed our technologies and built plants to build security in water. We say, okay, God is doing water. We help God by creating water. So we use the sources which gives us water which normally are not used for water, like right. sea water, right. like the waste water. Now, we are the largest in India and maybe the top 10 globally in seawater desalination. So we pick up seawater and convert into potable water. Same thing is with waste water. It's somehow psychological reason that people don't want to drink it. Right. But all our plants are producing potable quality water as per WHO standard. But we are using this for non-potable use, for industrial. And the industries which were consuming potable water, they release it back to the domestic consumer. So that way, it's building a water security for yes. domestic users. To stay in short, we are here for environment protection, and for economic development of the cities, the states, the countries where we work, we work for these two reasons. Great sir, in fact I was to ask you this only that you know what are your key accomplishments again contributing towards ensuring water security? As a water company, our biggest satisfaction is we are working for the society and that's a huge motivation that everything you do touches the life of the people. We were the first ones to bring this recycle concept into oil and gas industry. Mm -hmm. The refineries like IOCLs of the world, Reliance of the world, HPCLs, all these public sector refineries. See, they, they were facing huge problem of meeting a discharge standard. We said wastewater is no longer a liability that the way you are behaving. It is a resource and it has an economic value. So when we brought that economic value, it made so much sense as a business model where if by treating wastewater, you are actually generating revenues, generating profit. This we have done for oil and gas. So many projects, now it's a state of art technology to recycle wastewater and refinery, not a one drop of water goes out. Same thing we did for steel industries, for RINL, sale and also NMDC recently, zero discharge plants. Okay. So they are meeting both, one, they don't have to worry about pollution control board notices and also they don't have to worry about water, where it is going to come from. Yeah. So they have a reliable water at affordable price Plus, they are meeting the discharge standard because they are not discharging anything. Same thing on desalination, today we are the leaders. First, we started working for industries because always it is considered that desalination is an expensive yes. alternative. Yes. But, okay, it's a myth, I would say, from my personal point of view. But that was how desal started with industries first going for it. 
especially the coastal industries yeah. they went with desalination mm-hmm. and uh, later on it started using for domestic use and yes. chennai was the first one to yes. put up 12 years back right. to say that we will use it for this and we were lucky to build that plant and even after 10 years we are operating and maintaining it complete south of chennai we are able to give a good safe drinking water at an affordable price if you don't get today we all receive tanker water mm. the tanker water is much more expensive than desalination so when you say it's expensive compared to what it's a myth so if you buy a tanker water you don't know where this fellow has brought the tanker from which water he is putting it into some you are not sure about the quality here you get a piped water you are sure about the quality and cost wise is much cheaper than the tanker water so right. those are the small contributions we do even the industries which had uh, uh, our north of chennai towards shri perambudur forgadam where we have hyundai motors we have apollo tires and all they were short of water and they were take, getting into the ground water ground water and this is also Uh, no yes it's not accepted as not well. acceptable is not doable yeah. so now the state decided they'll disconnect all the groundwater yes. tappings yes. and we gave them an alternate water which is desalt water this uh, reuse water reuse water from a sewage okay. treatment plant which we were doing mm-hmm. they told us to put tertiary treatment plant okay and that is 45 mlds of treated water is going to the industry mm-hmm. so everybody today is getting reuse water which is as good as drinking water and they are not getting into the ground water and especially we are a coastal city if we go too deep we are going to have sea water ingress into the ground water we are going yes. to spoil the complete ground water correct so that is a good initiative by the government and we were lucky to do the first project in india um, this you know reclaimed water how people are perceiving it today are we in the right direction as far as the acceptance to this concept is concerned and the efforts in this direction is concerned or reusing the water for the right purpose is concerned see my as a water professional answer is yes yes and yes we are on the right direction thinking is right and uh, there are lots of case studies which can demonstrate that this has met the desired results mm-hmm. the only thing you can be concerned about the speed of implementation the government policies are in place they are saying the industry should use it and uh, industry is using it and now power plants are going to use it because there is a directive that if you are within a radius of 50 kilometers you, you have to, to yeah. use this so these are the right direction right guidance from the government yeah. and i think industry is also accepting it but things like this it's always a huge public perception you have to create so which our country is not very good at i think uh, if we would have done a better pr the speed of implementation and the acceptability of the consumer would have been much better we also produce water which is completely potable but people don't want to take it because they have a choice and as you said as you go forward what is going to be most scarce they are not going to have choice in the capital city of namibia which is windhoek yes people are drinking from our plant for last 26 years direct potable okay so it is possible there are life examples uh, but at least today whether it's delhi chennai or other cities are going for indirect portable mm. so that you do it you may inject in ground mm. or you create a water bodies which will seep through the ground and somewhere else you pull it out mm. so recharging you are recharging the, the ground, ground water, water and taking it out somewhere so it's indirect portable but again it goes for human consumption and sir uh, when we talk about uh, uh, you know treatment plant of course uh, the kind of investment required the kind of uh, basically the capital investment in this entire process of setting up the treatment plant what kind of financial models should actually be there which will 
also encourage other players to come into the water domain water sector the models which have been successfully done I'll give you a few examples where we are associated with mm -hmm. there is one local body which needed more water not to take water they have to build some dam somewhere to store water and use it mm -hmm. during the rest of the 12 months now building a dam in the country you know environmental problems flooding all these studies have to be done it's at least a one decade project so they came with a very innovative model there was industry which was using potable water for the industrial use they approached that industry and said you are using potable why don't we do a barter system i give you a reuse bottle and give you some incentive maybe a few rupees extra mm -hmm. and you release the potable water to us okay. and this barter agreement was signed so both are happy industry is saving few rupees they are getting water what they want and, and they are getting the potable water, water released from them is doing that yeah. there is another project we are doing in another part of the country where the local body went for water bonds mm -hmm. they raised water bonds and it was so successful that based on that they it, it was a ham project they put in their contribution using this proceeds from the water bond and we put the rest of it and today the project is under construction and a year from now it should be we will be commissioning and the industry will be getting water which today they are drawing water Again, in north water. india from the ground water already they started signing the water purchase agreement with the local authority and the industry mm -hmm. that they will disconnect all the water connections of the bore wells and they will have to take this water okay. so these are some of the models see as i said before this is no longer a liability industry waste water is no longer a liability the only financial models will work if this is made self sustaining it cannot look at viability gap funding it cannot look at uh, subsidies yeah. it has to say it's like my business initially i may need some support but then finally i'll stand on my feet and the only way it can stand on its feet is to have a resource recovery mm -hmm. and derived economic benefit out of it and that is what will fund it in fact that will make it profitable so it becomes your business model and you are not at the mercy of a government to fund it or give viability gap funding or subsidies so self sustainable self sustainable is my solution for this so so one message for water digest uh, uh, readers of water digest as well as viewers of our wt news i think the important is not much is talked about not much is a forum which allows water to be projected as a valuable economic resource i think what you guys are doing at water digest either through uh, electronic media or print media i think you are spreading that message you create this annual program where you facilitate and honor people who have achieved something in water there are not many in our country who are doing that from that point of view water digest is doing a unique work especially for water professionals we feel very honored and uh, we would like to convey our thanks to you and your team that uh, you are doing good work for water professionals you are encouraging more and more people to join this sector which needs badly as is growing sector and we don't have courses in college and schools which promote water technology water treatment or water management so this way we can bring in people as they say as long as you have a will to do something skills can be developed so we are doing exactly that we attract good people who want to work in this sector and then we train them to develop their skills so thank you so much water digest